Now, I want you to rip out that page. Go on. Rip out the entire page. You heard me. Rip it out. Rip it out! Go on. Rip it out! Thank you, Mr. Dalton. Gentlemen, tell you what, not just tear out that page, tear out the entire introduction. I want it gone. History, leave nothing of it. Rip it out! Rip! Be gone, J. Evans Pritchard, PhD. Rip, shred, tear, rip it out! I want to hear nothing but ripping of Mr. Pritchard. We'll perforate it, put it on a roll. Not the Bible, you're not going to go to hell for this. Go on. Make a clean tear, I want nothing left of it. Rip it out, rip! What the hell is going on here? I don't hear enough rip. Mr. Keating. Mr. McAllister. I'm sorry, I... I didn't know you were here. I am. Ah. So you are. Excuse me. Keep ripping, gentlemen. This is a battle. A war. And the casualties could be your hearts and souls. Thank you, Mr. Dalton. Armies of academics going forward, measuring poetry. No! We will not have that here. No more of Mr. J. Evans Pritchard. Now, my class, you will learn to think for yourselves again. You will learn to savor words and language. No matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. Now, see that look in Mr. Pitt's eye, like 19th century literature, has nothing to do with going to business school or medical school, right? Maybe. Mr. Hopkins, you may agree with them, thinking, yes, we should simply study our Mr. Pritchard and learn our rhyme and meter and go quietly about the business of achieving other ambitions. A little secret for you. Huddle up. Huddle up! We don't read and write poetry because it's cute. We read and write poetry because we are members of the human race. And the human race is filled with passion. Now, medicine, law, business, engineering, these are noble pursuits and necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. <laughs>